Welcome back to the channel, my name is Reno and you're watching Living with Pixels. Today we're gonna design the section that you are seeing here. This for floating images that animate in is gonna be fun, so let's get started. All right, welcome back. Last week uh, we made this upper section with the video background, with the wave and this overlapping section, all the fonts. And thank you so much for all the positive comments again on my videos. Uh, slowly more and more people are discovering my channel. I even got discovered on Facebook uh, by somebody named Ferdi Heinz. Um, I don't know if he's watching this, but it was posted, my video was posted in the Elementor Facebook group. Um, so that's super cool. So thank you so much, uh, Heinz uh, Verdi, if, if you're watching this. It's so cool to see that people are sharing and liking the content because I put so much effort into the videos. Um, so thanks a lot. So last week we've designed this upper section and now we're gonna do this section. This left part is not so complicated, this right part is a little bit more complicated. And when you view it on mobile, only two images pop up, otherwise it's gonna be four images and that's a long scroll. So we're gonna make it mobile optimized. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna do it in Elementor, of course. Uh, so this is where we ended last week. So I'm gonna open Elementor and we're gonna design the next section together. All right, first of all, I'm gonna zoom out a little. I'm gonna close the navigator for now. I'm gonna zoom down. And I already ended uh, last video with two sec uh, columns, uh, I must say. So I have the result open here. So I'm just gonna put that next to it. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is make this left side, that's the easy part. All right, let's just start with something easy. We're gonna drag a heading in into the left column. And we're gonna copy the title like this. I'm just gonna paste it in here. Uh, first, I like to put in all the content before I go to styling. So content first and then styling. So now we're gonna create this little line uh, that's called a divider. If you type in div, you're gonna find it. So drag in the divider and now make the width a little smaller. I think I made it like two or three pixels uh, thick. Something like that. And then we need a little text and then we need some icons. So let's just insert a text. So we're gonna grab the text editor. We're gonna put it in here and there's already a small text in here. So that's okay. Now we are going to make an icon list. Um, I'm gonna use this feature. You can also make one row and then duplicate it, but there's already a nice feature in here. Uh, delete this, these first two and then duplicate the first one um, so you get three of the same icons and now the last thing that we need is a button all right so let's go to the uh, button and it's here i'm gonna drag it and there it is it's already purple because i've set up my colors um, here in the default colors so the accent color uh, is where i put my purple so when you drag in a button for example it becomes already the purple that i want so now we need to style it a little bit uh, it's already looking pretty good because i have prepared uh, a lot of things already here also the fonts but let's style it what do we see well first of all we need more white space at the bottom uh, otherwise we can't really breathe so we're gonna edit the section not within this column um, the whole section because we also need white space under this column so we're gonna go to uh, advanced unlink this one and just add something like 80 to the bottom give it a little bit of space and also we want more room here so since this part is also part of this section we need to add a margin on top to this section over here so we're gonna go to the advanced section and oh, there's already 50, so I'm gonna make it 150. No, that's too much. Maybe 100, yes, something like that. Uh, or maybe 80, yes. All right, so that's it for the section. Now we're gonna style it a little bit. So grab the text, we're gonna go to style, typography, and we're gonna make it bigger. I don't know what font size we used up here, but I have a plugin that's very nice. It's called What Font, and if you hover, you can see it's Montserrat and it's 36 pixels high and the line height is 
47 pixels and it's also the weight 600 so if you want if you also want this uh plug well it's actually an extension a google chrome extension just go just go to the google chrome extension store and uh, uh search for what font uh, so 36 and 47 so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go oh it's already 36 and the uh, uh, line height is gonna be 74 all right that looks good now for the text it's 16 so we're gonna go to this one and we're gonna make it 16 yes that's a little bit bigger and we also i think we want the same uh, text size on the list items so we're gonna go to style text typography and we're gonna type in 16. Now, as you can see, the color or the width uh, is a little different. I don't know if this is because of the colors or the width of the font. So let's just go back and see what the width is. It's 300, so we're gonna first try that. We're gonna put the weight on uh, 300. I said width, by the way, but it's uh, weight. And it doesn't really change because it's probably because of the color. The text color is probably this dark purple i think it's this dark purple which we can check it and of course if you use adobe xd you can also you know see how you designed it and then exactly um, uh, use those numbers and those colors inside of elementor now i am redesigning a page that i already made but uh, the normal flow is that you have adobe xd or sketch or something like that um, and you go to your sketch you see oh it's 16 pixels so then you go to elementor and you type in 16 pixels. So now I'm using this as my design uh, file. So as you can see, this is the color here. So we're gonna copy that. And I think it's, yeah, that's, that's already the same color. All right, now for the icon, we're gonna make that the purple bright color and we're gonna make it a little bigger, something like this. And now we want more spacing between the icon and the text. Yeah, something like this. Uh, maybe make the icon a little bit smaller. Yes, this looks good. We're gonna copy the text for this part and we're gonna paste it in here. And as you can see, the white space between this and this is pretty big because Elementor uh, puts 20 pixels um, margin at, at the bottom of every text. So that's what I'm gonna remove right now. I'm gonna go to bottom and I'm gonna type minus 20. And now it's a little bit nicer. Last thing that I need to do is change the color of this little line. And now I think the left part is done. So let's just see what we have made so far. We're gonna click on publish and we're gonna click on preview changes. So now if we scroll down, down this section is looking good. The last thing that I wanna do is add a hover effect to the button because the button now is a little bit boring. So we're gonna to go to style, to hover, and then make it a shrink. So it has this little animation when you hover over the icon. All right, I'm gonna click on update and now we're gonna to go to the right section. Uh, it looks pretty hard if you look at the result, especially the animation when you come to the page the items build up um, and there's this hover effect there's this shadow effect things are overlapping i'm going to show you how to do this um, let's just go back to my column and first we're going to put in some images because it's just four separate images that's it so grab the first image and uh, then select the image from your library the the images that i exported are just small images of 300 by 225 pixels there's a little bit of difference between them but but that's it so i'm going to insert that we're going to duplicate it and we're going to click on the next one which is this one duplicate it again click on this one and duplicate it again and then click on the last one which is the purple one all right so now we have all the images imported and elements inside of a column, they just stack on top of each other. So what you need to do is a little trick and that's here under advanced and you go to custom positioning. This is by the way, a pretty new feature uh, that they added, I think, well, I don't know, but, but it's, it's pretty new. So don't change anything in here. Just go to position and click on absolute. And when you click on absolute, you can move 
the image like in Adobe XD, for example. So that's pretty nice. I also do wanna add a shadow before I'm gonna copy this style and put it on all the other images um, because that makes the workflow a lot easier. So I'm gonna go to style, gonna go to box shadow, scroll down, make the blur a lot bigger, make the vertical also a little lower as you can see. Now it looks like it's floating. Now change the opacity because we don't want it too much. Something like this. All right. And we also want to have a hover effect. Uh, when you hover over the image, like you see here, it starts to you know, float a little bit. Um, so that effect is called Bob. So if you go to hover and hover animation, you scroll down and you go and you click on Bob. And as you can see now, it starts to like fly when you hover over the image. All right, so what you wanna do now, is you wanna copy the style of this image. You're gonna go to the other image and you're gonna paste the style. And now you can also move this image in the same way. So let, for now, just put it on the side, go to this image, also paste the style, put it down. And now the last image, paste the style and put it down. And now you can just position the images how you want it. You can even place it outside of the uh, main section if you want. So you can make them overlap. And now for example, if I want to have this image always on top, that's called Z index. If you go to advanced, um, there's this option here, Z index and Z index is actually like layers in Photoshop. So the higher the Z dex, uh, the more the layer is on top of other layers. So if you put this image on four, because you always want that on the foreground, it's gonna go to the foreground as you can see. So zero or four, right? Maybe we, we want this on number three always. So it's gonna go above this one. And I think I'm gonna put it on two and this one on three. So the shadow of this one also overlaps this one. And now this one can stay at number one. That's okay, because I like the overlapping effect that it has right now. I'm gonna move it a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting. Now I see that I need a more white space here and there. So I'm gonna add the section again. And on the advanced, I'm gonna put 120 at the bottom, maybe even 140. Yeah, I want a little bit more room to breathe. And also on this one, I'm gonna put it on 120. Yes. All right, now I'm gonna update it and we'll see what happens. As you can see, the shadows are applied. The hover effect is there, but I forgot one thing. Um, and that's the animation. So actually I needed to do that before I copied the style because now there's no animation if you scroll the images are just there but in the in the final result that I made they are animating in when you scroll down so that effect is called motion effect so if you click on an image you're gonna go to motion effect and entrance animation you want to fade it from the bottom to the top so fade in up and this is why you need to prepare all the effects before you start copying and pasting. Because now if I want to paste the style, he's also going to paste the style of the position. And that's not what I want. So right now I'm just going to click on a comment Z. And I'm going to add the animations by hand on this one and also on this one. So this effect makes it whenever it's in viewpoint, uh, it's going to animate in. So we're going to click on update and see if it worked. All right, we're gonna scroll down. And as you can see, they start animating in when we scroll. This is super cool. And the last thing that I wanna show you is the mobile editing feature to hide images on mobile. Um, so if you go to responsive mode and mobile now, you're gonna see that it's a big mess. It's not really nice. Um, and on mobile, the custom positioning is a little harder. The column, as you can see, it's here. So you need to first give the column some space uh, because on mobile, I don't know how it really works, but you need to give it some space. So you're gonna add some padding on the top and bottom. So for example, like 200 on the bottom and 200 on the top. Oh, not 2000, something like this. Maybe that's even too little because I need a little bit more space. So 250 
And now I can just drag the images and put them into a place where I want. Something like this. And for these two images, I'm going to hide them. And this is what you can do in responsive mode. So you click on responsive and you click on hide on mobile. Click on the other image. Also click on responsive and you click on hide on mobile. And now if we're going to click update, I'm going to grab my mobile phone. I'm going to show you how it looks. So I hope you can see it. I'm going to scroll down. As you can see, the upper section of the website is not mobile optimized. But now, but now we're scrolling to the section. And as you can see, there are the images. They're animating in that there's only two images. It looks pretty good. They are centered in the middle. And the other two images are not popping up. All right, so it turned out pretty well, as you can see. Uh, let's just look at our result one more time. So we're gonna refresh the page. And if we scroll down, the images are animating in. There's a nice hover effect on the images. And a mobile, there's only two images to keep it clean. So this was also a little bit difficult part of the website. Uh, if you want to see other parts of the website, how I made it, um, which is all made in the free version of Elementor, by the way, if you want to try that for yourself, there's a link in the description. The upper two sections are the most difficult part, which we made in this video and the last video. But I want to make this website way more complicated because now I'm only using the free version of Elementor. But especially I want to make the portfolio section uh, more interesting because now it's just links and I want portfolio items. So in the future, I'm going to make this website bigger and better and more interesting. So if you want me to continue on this website next week, please let me know. And uh, I, then I hope to see you next week. All right. Thank you for watching.